All hella beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. Today is Sunday, which means we are back for yet another weekly fragrance rotation video. And if you are new to the channel, what we do today is we talk about the fragrances that I wore this week. We talk about the compliment factor. We talk about the lack of compliments and anything else of importance. But most importantly, you comment down below and you let me know what worked for you. So before I officially hop into the list, man, most of you know that we are still quarantining and we are also still like, <laughs> you know, social distancing. So I'm still keeping my distance away from people, but in typical Big Beard B fashion, I'm going to bring it to you anyway. Now, as always, we kick off the week on Sunday, and Sunday I actually wore nothing, at least nothing in particular. So I used Sunday as a dedicated day to test some fragrances, and I did a lot of testing, but I still have more fragrances to test because I received a lot in within the last week or so. So I will be spending some of my off time Although I don't have much of that at all. Some of my downtime, I'm really just smelling through some of the new fragrances that I got in. That way I can bring you accurate reviews and at least let you know how they perform on my skin. So Sunday, sadly, <laughs> nothing that I can mention. Now on Monday, I wore a fragrance from the house of Bond. And this one has been in my collection for three plus years or so. This one is none other than Bond Number no. 9's bleaker street a lot of people tend to wear this fragrance for the spring and summertime and i think it's good as a spring or summer fragrance as it's probably better suited for this time of the year and that was 82 degrees on monday i went with four sprays of this thing and i got a compliment but i'm not going to count it so um i sprayed the song my wife walked up she said hey dallas doesn't your daddy smell good and he said yes so that's kind of forced Although I do appreciate it, it was four. So therefore, I will not count that one as a compliment. But on Monday, Bleecker Street. So on Tuesday, I wore a fragrance that I really haven't worn in a while. I haven't really reached for it. But I do enjoy this fragrance. This is another one that is good for spring and summer. I really enjoy the house. And I also enjoy this line. And this is another flanker within that line. And this one is none other than Bulgari Man Wood Essence. Bulgari Man Wood Essence released in 2018 with another flanker releasing in 2019 which was Bulgari Man Wood Essence or Neroli Wood Essence or something of that nature. I'm not a huge fan of Neroli. I smell that fragrance and I'm not the biggest fan of that one but the conversation today is more about this fragrance. This one has um, cedar in it. You have some, some citrus and some zestiness to it. I really like this one. It really hit the nail on the head with this one but um, I don't reach for it as often as I probably could reach for it, but I did spray this thing on. I went with three sprays. I did not get any compliments. In fact, um, I went to give the missus a hug. She said, you smell like a girl. I was like, damn. <laughs> I don't think this is a girly scent, but she definitely told me I smell like a girl. So on Tuesday, Bulgari Man Wood Essence. So as you would expect, on Wednesday, I spent most of my day indoors. And the fragrance I opted to go with comes from Steven's lineup um, from the Navitus Parfums collection. And this one is Inti Moose. Now, I really enjoy this fragrance. Now, the bottle says this one is alluring, attractive, and this one is romantic. And I really agree with this. I sprayed this one on. I went with two sprays of this one. The missus gave me a hug before we went to bed. And she was like, you smell great. And I said, I know. Actually, that's not what happened at all. I sprayed this one on and she said, don't nobody care that you smell good. That's exactly what happened if I'm being 100% honest. So I'm gonna take that one as a compliment because she said, you smell good. And that she also said no one cared, but she obviously cared because she mentioned it. There you have it on Wednesday, Navitus Papa. On Thursday, there was another great looking day <laughs> from my window, the outside looked extremely nice, but I was indoors all day. Um, the fragrance that I wore was Sailing Day from Mason Margiela. Now this one is supposed to replicate you being out at sea. This one is salty, it's aquatic, um, it's fresh, it's airy, it's aromatic. I do like the fragrance. Um, this kind of reminds me of being like out on the boat, which I think this one is supposed to remind you of that. Um, <clears throat> I did not get any compliments when wearing this thing here, and these types of fragrances can be hit or miss. You have to find someone who really likes that saltiness that comes along with being out at sea, but um, I think this one is a really nice fragrance. Now I did three sprays of this one. I could not tell you what the exact temperature was outdoors because I was indoors um, again for the better part of the day. So there you have it, man. 
um, sailing day from Mason Margiela. Now on Friday, I decided to back to back it and pull out another Mason Margiela fragrance. This one is again, super, super nice. I've talked about this one on a number of occasions and this one is great for the spring and summer. And this one is Mason Margiela's Under the Lemon Tree. I went with three sprays on this one. And again, I was indoors, so I didn't really pay much attention to what the weather was like outside. But um, inside, we keep the house around 70 to 73, all right? so. There you have it, I've sprayed this one on. I've got three sprays of this one, got zero compliments, but again, um, I'm hanging around the same people, the family, and uh, you know, it is what it is. Tired of being around me, so therefore, they will not compliment me. But no, man, all, all jokes aside, on Friday, I wore this guy, which you, you know as Under the Lemon Tree. And then finally, on Saturday, I wore a fragrance that was citrus, it's spearmint, it's cedarwood, it's lavender. It's it's a great fragrance all around. This one comes from Paul from the Marley, and this one is none other than Sedley. So Sedley is is a really nice fragrance all around. I think they're coming out with another Sedley. I think I've seen that in some of the uh, some of the Instagram videos that I've been watching. I've been hopping into a lot of these Instagram chats because. Have nothing else to do <laughs> but no man all jokes aside when i get some downtime i try to show some support in the fragrance community and that's just me hopping into somebody's live chat for a minute to hear what they got to say then that's what i will do so listen man um i wore this fragrance here and i went with three sprays on it just to really test it out um the missus did smell this one but she smelled it on a card prior to actually smelling it on me so i said hey what do you think about this fragrance at least on the paper she really enjoyed it she said hmm that's nice so um We'll see, man. The day is still going, all right? And we will see uh, how everything turns out on this fragrance here. So there you have it, man. Those are the fragrances that I wore this week in my limited interactions with people. So choosing the winner this week, the one that got the true compliment, or the one that I'm saying has the truer compliment between them is um, Intimus from Navitus Parfum. So this one is the winner of this week. Did you go anywhere? If so, what worked for you? If you were kicking around your house, what fragrance did you wear to make you feel good? As always, I'm your boy, Big B. B. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And you already know what I need you to do. Just hit the goddamn bell.